let me ask you, where were you in 2019, 2020, 2021? Maybe you owned a home or your parents did, and I'm gonna tell you what happened. That house basically jumped up $100,000 in equity. But just think, what if I had had 10 houses? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I made my first million in my 20s. And the cool thing is, it's so duplicatable, you could literally do the exact same thing. So grab pen and paper, school's in session. First of all, let's just take a moment and pause on why real estate. I want you to think about this for just a second. Andrew Carnegie said that 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. More money has been made in real estate than in all industrial investments combined. The, the wise young man or uh, wage earner of today invests his money in real estate. Let me ask you, where were you in 2019, 2020, 2021? Maybe you owned a home or your parents did, and I'm gonna tell you what happened. That house basically jumped up $100,000 in equity. And I just want you to think about that for a moment, right? That's more money than most people make in a year of working. But just think, what if I had had 10 houses? Well, 100 grand, 100 grand, 100 grand times 10, that's a million dollars, right? So all of a sudden, like a million dollars, which seems like an incredibly elusive number, if you're just like saving money and savings, like I'm never gonna save a million dollars. So when I went in to make my first million dollars, here's what I did is I specialized on single family homes, basic real estate game because it's the easiest to qualify for. It creates a great opportunity for cash flow. Believe it or not, even with today's interest rates, I mean, the 40 year average on interest rates are kind of right around where we're at right now. We're kind of used to like a decade of this free money, low interest rate stuff, but that was never meant to be sustainable. And yet in 2024, we are forecasting six rate drops. And right now, if you take a look at most media outlets, they're suggesting that rates could drop as low as the mid fives or 5% range. If that goes down, I'm gonna tell you right now with our backlog of missing around 6 million homes in this country, we're gonna see the price shoot up. $100,000, I think beyond that. So I got this graph here that I wanna show you, which is I think another really compelling reason why real estate. Since 1965, it has tracked a 4.58% increase. Now, if you think about that, that's like nearly 70 years worth of data. And I want you to think about that 4.58%. That 4.58% may not sound like a lot, but then again, you have to remember that in real estate, you're usually putting a 3% down payment for a home that you live in, or even if it's an investment property with 20% down, I want you to think about the math on this. That means that you're getting a one to five leverage point from the bank, which means that your money is not going up 4.58% as the graph suggests, it's going up five times faster than that with the game of leverage. I also knew in my early 20s that there's like 30 different strategies that I could have picked for real estate, right? Some people are specializing in foreclosures and some people flipping deals and some people are just doing rentals and there's all these different strategies. And I said, let's compare them all to each other and uh, ended up writing a book on it and ended up basing my entire thesis on it, which that was several thousand homes ago. By the way, if you want a free copy of that book, click the link below and while supplies last, I've got a free book with your name on it. So so here's what I did. I had a mentor that set me straight. They said, Chris, you're gonna need a 3% down payment on your first piece of property. Your credit, by the way, is kind of average. Why don't you get a couple more credit cards and use them and keep them paid off? So that was news to me. And then he said, you know, you only have one year of history at your job. You should get a second year. That should be what a bank is looking for if you want the bank to put up 97% of the money. And I thought about that. I'm like, if the bank is willing to put up 97% of the money, sounds like a pretty good deal. So I ended up following this advice. 14 months later, I'd saved enough money for my 3% down payment. I also had that next year of work history. I had a couple more credit cards that I was basically keeping paid off. And so when I went to actually get ready to find my first deal, guess what? When the teacher is ready, the student appears. He's beginning to believe. And I'm telling you, my first house showed up. And it was a banger because the house was worth 150,000 and I basically got it for $110,000. And it had to boot a basement that when I rented out actually covered my mortgage. So my wife and I were basically living for free in this house thinking, oh my gosh, real estate is like the best thing ever. All it took was a tiny down payment that we saved up for, the basement is covering our mortgage, and now all of a sudden we're basically living for free. That house, a year later, supplied the down payment for our second property. That second property, we made over $110,000 on that when we sold it a decade later. That second house supplied us with the down payment for our third house. 
And now you start understanding that original graph of, well, what's the significance of real estate growing at four or 5% every single year? Well, I'm just telling you right now that when you're putting a 3% or a 20% down payment, it's basically nothing. And if you buy real estate the right way, it ends up buying the next piece of property for you. Well, after I got a few properties in, I got to the point where I wanted to go faster and I didn't want to wait for this property to buy that property because sometimes I had to wait a year or two for that to happen. My father-in-law, who had been watching me kind of skeptically at first, had now kind of drunk the Kool-Aid. He's like, dude, this is working for you. What if I give you some money out of my 401k or IRA? We partner up, right? Like you do all the things, you do all the work. I put up the money and we'll split the profits 50-50. I said yes and man, we've done 50 properties together. That works so great that we ended up doing a number of deals together. And I remember being a senior in college and sitting on 10 properties thinking, man, my goal was to get to 20 properties because 20 properties represents, you know, probably $10,000 a month of positive income, positive cash flow. I don't have to work, right? That's all the money left over after all the mortgages and expenses are paid. And so being at 10 homes, I wanted to graduate college with 20. And how I ended up getting there faster was I started realizing there's a lot of other people like my father-in-law that have money in 401ks and IRAs that are looking for a better alternative to retirement that would throw up the money. And so I ended up finding three people, did lunch with them, and all of them said yes. And then I started just buying real estate every month with one of these new partners. Bottom line is by the time I graduated college, I didn't have 20 homes, I had 25. And basically at 26, I had a net worth of $1.6 million. That was 25 properties, and that was a six-figure residual income. And I've got probably somewhere around a thousand partners around the world that buy real estate with me doing this exact same strategy. And if you wanna just get the step-by-step -step details of the strategy for free, that's what I'm offering you. Click the link below, grab a copy of my book, and let me share with you how you can make your first million dollars. Because you know what they say, the first million is the hardest, but once you have it done, it only gets easier from there. Grab a copy of the book, let me show you how. Now here's the reality, people think that a million dollars is a lot of money. That is not a lot of money when you play this game long enough. And uh, today, when it comes to my lifestyle, private jets, and the way I'm living my life, there's a lot of people that are like, wow, what's that like? Where can real estate done successfully really lead you? Click right here, let me show you.